Hello there, welcome back. This is G Man, My World 67. And here we are out in the train room. Now it's kind of really hot out here today, as it's been hot for the last two or three days. And I haven't really been out here, uh, been able to work since I uh, did the last video. Uh, I've got the air conditioner on, but um, it takes a while for it to cool off, and it's still pretty warm in here. And so I wanted to go ahead and get this video started uh, and so I could go ahead and, and get some work done. Uh, what I want to try to do today, this was, uh, I declared this to be military week, military training week. And so as you can see, uh, as you saw in the last video, the 490 train consists is up and going. Now I haven't done anything to add anything to it. Um, I've got the uh, official car, uh, the tail car for the train right here that I was running. Uh, as you can see it needs uh, some touch up or actually redoing and I'm going to try to get that done uh, this, this today or over this weekend. Uh, see how far we can get with that. Uh, the other one uh, I have right here uh, the official car. It's in really decent shape. It's got a little scratching. Shows a little wear. Um, and we're going to try to do something with that too. But um, this one of course has the knuckle coupler. And the other one as the slotted coupler. You can see that there. All right. Uh, but that's not the feature of what we're doing today. What we're doing today, I had a process that I wanted to share with you. Um, as you can see, this tub is dark colored, and that is the paint off of that Canadian Pacific 500 Army supply engine and what I I done what I what I use I just thought I'd share it with you is I put warm water in a bucket or a container and I use laundry detergent now not the laundry liquid laundry soap I think it will work also uh, but it takes longer to do it you use the liquid laundry detergent the powder and it only takes uh, about a, a quarter to a, a half cup of powder per gallon of water and so I taken that and we you see here I have set it in this detergent and water solution and swish it around a little bit so it's just been sitting here I was going to take it out the other day it's just been sitting in here ever since I believe s Sunday night I believe and as you can see uh, it only actually takes 24 hours so usually some of the paint is a little stiffer than others a little tighter than others but if you've got a project that you're working on and you just want to remove the paint, uh, this will really take it off. It'll really clean it up and it'll make you happy glad. You might have to do a little scraping like you see me doing with my thumb here. Um, you take a plastic scraper uh, or if you want to use a Brillo soap pad, you can. But it doesn't take a lot of work. You see how easily that comes off? Uh, and of course, the longer you soak it, uh, the more it comes off. Now, I checked this uh, Monday evening, and most of the paint was already gone off of it. It still had some paint, uh, a little more than what you see right now. It was pretty tight still in places because there was like actually three coats of paint on this, or maybe even four. Uh, the original factory paint, then someone painted over it, 
and then someone painted over it again with it looked like a brush and uh, that was where I got it <laughs> where it was that when I got it and so uh, this process like the vinegar process for the tracks and for other metal objects this process will really remove and dissolve the paint and get it off and clean it up and you actually serve two functions at one time uh, you actually get it washed and you remove the unwanted paint so what I'm going to do today I'm going to finish cleaning this up and let me see I've got something else in here too oh the finials I took them out already that's right uh, the finials are out they're they're clean nice and shiny uh, we'll probably end up painting them black though because I think the original marks engine they were black um, the side plates I took off I cleaned up and they just needed a good light sanding down because they had painted the black around uh, the plates, the edging. And it was old. And it was done again with a brush, it looked like, and it had bubbled up in places on them. So I sanded that down, those edgings, and uh, so that we can put another smooth coat uh, on them. But this is where we're at today. Also, uh, as I go through my junk boxes, and I have a specific box for vinyl, uh, And it's down here, this gray box right here. I was going through that the other day, you see that storage box and uh, that container. And I found another Lionel train. And I also found my, uh, I believe it's number 44, uh, that rocket train, uh, rocket launcher. And uh, so we're going to be working on those two. I don't know whether they'll get all three of these done this weekend or not. But uh, I'm going to try to do videos on them and complete those. I think that will pretty much sum up uh, our uh, military trains on my end for now uh, until I get a gear. I may come back on next week and finish out the military trains with the plastic uh, O-gauge military cars. The various ones I have, the Kuzan, the Williams, uh, the Lionel, and the K-Line uh, in Marks. And so I, I believe I have a few cars or one or two cars from each one of those manufacturers in the Army trains. And we're going to put a consist together with those and pull them behind that 2716 uh, diesel that you saw. Uh, we might have to switch them off sometimes. There it is. That 2716 needs a gear. And I don't have a gear for it at this time. Hadn't found one for it. And so... I'm still looking, and as soon as I find a gear for it, short of buying another engine, like a 1055 or something, and using the motor out of it, uh, which may happen, um, but hopefully next week sometime we will start to work on this 2716, and we'll have it up and running also. Here's my cannon cars. I don't know if you can see them or not. Kind of dark in under there. Let me back up some. There we go. 
can't get a good view of them. There's two of them there. And also, I did not mention my Cape Canaveral trains. Now, I have two of the Cape Canaveral engines. Uh, one with the uh, scissor connector and one <clears throat> with the knuckle coupler. I had the scissor connector one first and uh, I always wanted one with the knuckle color connector and I finally uh, found one, I think it was last year or the year before. Had to do a little work to it. I think I did a video on it. There is a uh, Marks Deluxe missile launcher or rocket car. Doors open from the top like the, similar to the Lionel and the missile flies out or rocket. So we're going to be busy just working on the military stuff. Uh, through this weekend and part of next week. But as for now, that's all I have for you. And I will keep you updated as we pull this car out, get it to this engine chill out, get it done, and put it back together. All right. As always, Happy Reels, until next time. This is Big Man, My World, 67. Bye-bye.